Hey. All right, let me get my uh, tools here. Push my hands that way. Tweezers. Take a set of gloves. Let's get some. I mean, y'all don't really need to scrub in here. It's not like we're gonna be at any risk of infection. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I just got some tools on the table there. Got some tweezers, forceps, grips, uh, a couple bottles of saline just if we need to rinse stuff off. Gloves. Mm -hmm. Just gonna get him stripped down so long. Oh. So, patient did come in with a severed finger. I believe it's on his right hand. Do we have the, the severed digit? Uh, no, missing on arrival, as well as uh, some forcibly mutilated and amputated genitalia, as well as his ear on the right side of his head. Right, okay. Oh, sorry, pinky finger, not index. Mm -hmm. Those um, quite large cuts on his ankles. That's a brilliant yeah. from running away or something. I believe, if I have a look here, that we have the Achilles tendons are slit. Yeah. Possibly to make sure that he is not able to run anywhere. It looks like this man was tortured, to be honest with you. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, a look here okay, at the um, you'll obviously just get the recording of this for me Dexter just so we can make full notes oh, of course thank you so much so looking here at the face um, we're walking from the face down here um, it looks like there has been some form of um, something burning has been put out in his eye um, from the smell of it I can assume it's cigar. probably a cigarette cigar cigarette, cigar, okay. cigarette joint, whatever they may have used, but something was used in his uh, left eye here. Um, ear has been very sloppily dismembered from the face. Quite jagged cuts. Um, looks like he was probably struggling while they did it. Uh, fully removed. Uh, doesn't look like there's any bit of the ear left here either. Face has got some bruising around it, so I'm assuming they beat him ever so slightly. Um, the right eye looks like the he's got a blown cornea. Oh, definitely, yeah. Got some charring around that left ear as well, possibly cauterized on sight. Understood. Possibly stop him bleeding out to make sure this lasted longer. This poor son of a bitch. I mean, apparently he's linked to the death of Aurora, but you know, regardless, this is, this is animalistic. Whoever did this has got a uh, sick way of doing things. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you, Dexter. So, just uh, to terminate that call. Sorry. Yeah, I guess they had a vendetta against him. Oh well. Nothing we can really do for him now. Um, no. Okay, let's, let's move down here. Um, so, oh my God, blood uh, things up. So just, uh, that next have a look here. Yeah, currently uh, performing autopsy in theater three. Go. Right, Roger looking on here on the, on the north, right hand, yeah, looks like the pinky was also yeah. severed. Um, looks to be the base knuckle that has been cut off. Um, Cauterized again? 
Yeah, it has been cauterized from the looks of it, and the pattern of bruising here looks like the pinky was broken as well. <laughs> possibly, possibly snapped first and then cut, just to make sure that the cut was easier. I'm assuming. Pretty much. Uh, looks like it's pre-mortem especially with mm -hmm. the uh the cauterization i think these guys are knew what they were doing probably <laughs> cauterized it to stop the bleeding yeah um okay let's have a look at the chest region here uh looks like we got quite a bit of bruising across the abdomen um possibly a couple broken ribs i can't be certain would have to do an x-ray check on when we when we open him up uh yeah we could check that when we open him up um i, I can see he's at least been beaten here um they're probably <laughs> probably cracked at minimum to be honest with you the, mm -hmm. the amount of bruising that we got here uh, moving down um Looks like we got severed genitalia as well they've got both the male member as well as the scrotum Okay. I'm just gonna check if they cauterize this as well. Okay, looks like this was left to bleed, so this was probably done right near the end. Let him slowly bleed out by the time he got to us. Um, also, quite a quite a messy job. So I'm assuming he was struggling at this point. I mean, it, it's cleaner than the rest, so I'm assuming that he didn't have much fight in him at the end when they got to this part. But, um, yeah. So, just jot down there, dismembered male genitalia, complete removal. Got it. All right. Uh, looking over here, there's some clear line bruising. Uh, around the wrists, looks like he was cable tied as well. Mm -hmm. Probably quite tight because these are quite dark bruising. It seems to have cut into the skin ever so slightly as well. Okay, moving down. Um, not seeing too much with the kneecaps here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. moving a little bit further down than that, does look like they slit the Achilles tendons on both ankles. On oh, both, okay. Yeah. You got this um, side of his face here, Ted. Oh, that's the side that was facing down. Let me just flip his face over here. Sharp like a razor there, look. Just turn his head. Let's have a look there. Oh, yeah. okay. It looks yeah. like they carved an X in his face. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is pre or post mortem. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's not a lot of cake blood in here. No, no. Compared to some of the other wounds, but a possible uh, post mortem injury. P possible post mortem, just a dismemberment of the uh, the body. Okay. Uh, should I say disfiguration? All right. Okay. Um, ready to turn him over? Yeah, we should be able to turn him over now. Okay, just wanna just wanna help me with that. I'll grab the grab the yep. bottom half here. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Lift it. There we go. Ooh, Jesus, okay. All right, looking over the back here, um, looks like we got some bruising at the base of the neck. In the large letters here, we've got a P full stop O full stop S carved into the skin. Mm -hmm. Looks like with a large sharp object, um, possibly like maybe the head, maybe the head of an ax, maybe a butcher's knife, um, possibly. Could be, could be the same. Um, could theoretically be the head of an axe that they use. Could be a, a butcher's knife. Um, I think it may be most likely here would be a machete. Um, okay, pre mortem. Um, I'll be honest with you. This looks possibly post. But you, yeah. Either that or just before he died. 
Because the, gotcha. the, there's not a lot of cake bleeding in here or anything like that, and not a lot of uh, no redness congealing. or bruising around the wound. Yeah, no, not mm -hmm. much congealing around it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, gonna move a little bit further down here. Ba uh, lower back looks to be bruised up. Mm -hmm. Nothing special down there. Um, again, you'll obviously see the genitalia removed. Back of the knees look fine. And then back of the ankles here slit. Um, the Achilles tendon again. Other than that, nothing too much special on the backside. Nothing remarkable. Okay. Nothing remarkable, to be honest with you. Just bruising uh, from possible uh, blunt force trauma. Um, but nothing exceptional. Right. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Um, turning back over, ready for internals, yeah? Yeah, I'm just gonna prepare these bottles of Salem. We'll just clean the body. We'll take it down to the uh, yeah. I've uh. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Okay. Put down four, back ten. Ready, turn in. Ready. ready. Two, one. There we go. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's grab some saline here. Some uh, saline and a cloth for you, Dexter. Okay. Just clean the body up as best we can, and then we'll uh, we'll just get a uh, get him in a body bag and take him down to uh, the morgue. Sure. You might have someone outside waiting. Um, true. I could ask PD if we could get an escort. I may actually want because I idea. do not I do not feel safe transporting a body with uh, this level of torture done to it yeah yeah of course they may want to do something further um yeah alright I'll just clean this body up here okay should be good on my side how are you how are you doing over there Sit down here Moving on to the torso now Perfect. and the arms. I'll do the arms. Yeah, nothing too much on my side. Uh, cauterization is not much you can do with this without having to actually pull all the scabbing off. Um, what I will do is I'll grab some bandaging and we'll just put uh, a little bit of gauze over that and just tape it up just to make it look pretty. I mean, it's pretty as you can really get with a mutilated body. Grab the legs here and I'll get these cleaned up. Okay. All right, here we go. Teddy, you on radio? I am. Just uh, finishing up an autopsy here and then we have to transport the body down to the morgue. No, so we're kind of stabbing if you want to get through with Arizona. Let's go with a stab wound to the shoulder. Tempo. I'm gonna leave you to get this into a body bag. Just ask one of the uh, the nurses. I'm gonna see if I can get PD uh, to give us a little a wee little escort. Yeah, good idea. I'll get uh, Scott. Yeah, Scott, you free, mate? Yeah, where about you now, mate? Yeah, can you come up to theatre three? I just need help to get the patient into the into a body bag. 
Cheers, mate. All right, mate. No worries. Okay, so I'm gonna roll uh, the patient over towards me, and you just uh, place the body bag underneath, uh, unzipped, and then I'll roll it back over, and then we can zip up. Okay. Right on, mate. No worries. Thank you. Ready? Rolling over now. Yeah, that's uh, give it in. Just lying down underneath there now. Thank you. Just, uh, just, yeah, just lift wide open. The, the, zip, the zip's fully open, so. Thank you. Um, so if you could show me 10, 7, 10, 42, I'm not too tired. Okay, right. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Zip up. Right. Okay. Right. We're gonna get um, PD to uh, arrange uh, safe transport for us and the body down to. Uh, Dexter. Yeah. Uh, switch to radio six for me, please. Copy that. Uh, Charlie six, switch into radio channel six. Lower for us, please. Um, we will be just we're just putting the um, you know just preparing. Uh, it should be done in the next couple minutes or so. Patients now in body bag. Right, I'll go get a uh, a van ready for you. Okay, just fit, close this off at the top. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Thanks, Scott. All right, mate. No worries. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll speak to you later on as regards uh, early on. Yeah, of course, mate.
You want me down here, Teddy? Hey, ma'am. Where, where are you guys going? So, yeah, can you, um, not, you, you're not allowed to display Simon, you can, thank you. Oh, I just wanted to take care of him. like somebody um, extinguished some sort of um, uh, in inhaled uh, cigarette cigar joint or something like that in his left eye as far as that's that's as far as I can tell you right now for me you can't um, be Teddy too much detail man too much detail just, I, I need to tell Craven all the detail uh, was the time that you declared him dead so official time of death is uh, two minutes past eleven on the twenty eighth of the eighth, twenty twenty two. So twenty three oh two GMT. Blood loss and mutilation. Mutilation, blood loss. Yeah. No, I just don't need to put in the report. <sighs> I mean, you could probably up that to severe mutilation. That's pretty much what that was. Yeah. If you got any detail I could put in a report that could be useful, go ahead and send it to my emails before I post the report. Sure thing. If you've got a list of things that happened to him, go right ahead and send it to me. Got a full recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll we'll report. have a full yeah full videography of the autopsy that we can send to you. No worries, that's all right. Go right ahead if you can. Yeah, Dexter will be able to that, forward that over to you. Of course. Other than that, I think we are ready to transport, gentlemen. Yeah. No worries. Okay, off we go. Inside. We may have to do a thing here to get inside. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, it, it, it's normally okay. Yeah, 
Oh, good. We might need to. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Should be good. Usually does work. It usually does. does. I think. Oh. Interesting. Bottom. Bottom down. Um. Push those chairs out the way. We're in that room over there. All right, Dexter. Well, the, um... I guess we can. Um... Yeah, we can just uh, pull out the forms. We can hand them over to the butcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think either of us really want to be opening it up too much. No, no, we can let him uh, finish yeah, off the internals like... from the. Yeah, yeah we'll let the butcher handle it. Any uh, second post mortem or more autopsy if, if it's needed, he's at least got the uh, remains. Yeah. Grab the forms here and then, um, there we go, right? Okay, get Twenty-three out of two GMT, day eight, twenty-eight oh eight, twenty twenty-two. Cause of death, severe mutilation, profuse loss of blood. Declaration of death performed by Dr. Theodore Shelby. No, I'm not aware of man. Post-mortem autopsy performed by Theodore Shelby and Dr. Dexter Morgan. Do, 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 do. Put all the details of the injuries form. Ear, body mutilation, finger, Natalia, Achilles tendons, and severe blunt force trauma across body. Here we go. I'm gonna go hand the form in, and then uh, should be able to leave him to the uh, the butcher for a bit. Then we can yeah. come back and grab the report. Mr. Butcher. All right, we will leave that to that. Mm -hmm. 